when people with poor wisdom tread among sleeping tigers, they shall meet with disaster. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, I checked out Dune World. And this 2021 film was directed by Mark Polania and stars Samantha Coolridge, Drew Patrick, Houston Baker, among others, of course. The story of this movie is about this spaceship crew who are sent to Dune World after 20 years of not hearing from the first mission. Then once they get there, you know, they discover giant worms and they have to walk through the desert and they're also getting messages from oracles from the past. What will happen exactly? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. So why did I watch this movie? Oh, why, oh, why? This movie, it has a few things going for it, particularly because it is abstract. If you're into abstract movies, um, you know, there's some people who always do abstract stuff, you know, uh, David Lynch, Neil Breen, and this kind of follows in the same vein as well. And so if you're into, you know, abstract movies and kind of discovering the plot as well, this is something for you. Uh, they have a few good sci-fi concepts, like they have this android, and I like what they did with the android. At first it's very useless, but then it becomes a much bigger role in uh, the later stages of the movie. As well as there's this woman with two husbands. I thought that was really funny. Um, just kind of something that's thrown in there that, that always made me chuckle. Everyone okay? Oh, husbands. This is all very sweet, but I'm trying not to die, so if we could figure that out. So there are a few good things definitely that you can, you know, latch on to that will help you carry yourself to the end of the movie. Now, if you are a fan of the sci-fi series Dune, and you are watching this, you could possibly maybe think it's in-universe. You just have to have the belief that, you know, the spice that they are using in Dune also gets you, you know, high AF. I think in, in the Dune books and stuff, it gets the main character, like, so high he sees through time and space or something. And that's pretty high. So with this one, kind of the abstract nature of it really kind of messes with your brain and, and gives you kind of that, that feeling where, you know, people are experiencing this drug for the first time. And so you could pretend, I guess, it is in universe. It's just, you know, requires a lot of imagination and maybe some drugs. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this movie. Well, I kind of think that this is very abstract. I would even say it's like too abstract to the point where you really don't understand what's going on until, you know, have the halfway mark. I would say even with like the first 20 minutes, like it doesn't make any sense until that 20 minute mark um, and then they're getting these messages from the past from these oracles but they're interesting but they don't make any sense as well so there's lots of just so many abstract ideas that really don't work with this one they also you know they're always just walking on green screens and <laughs> they're just walking across the screen and they also what else they have like a sand kind of what is it? Stock footage, I guess? Sand stock footage with some footprints in it to, to symbolize the passage of time or something. And so there's all of this abstract stuff that just makes it uh, too abstract, I would say, for a normal audience. In addition, everything else is pretty... Um, subpar. For example, you know, they have these prop guns, but the prop guns are, are painted brown and it just kind of looks like they're made of chocolate. And that was, you know, I guess a stylistic choice they made. Also, you know, they go into different rooms in their spaceship or this like facility on the ground and it's just office space. It's like, you know, the drywall and the carpets. And that was very strange to see. I would never imagine that on their spaceship. So all of the sets are, yeah, subpar. Of course, you know, they have no budget, so I, I can imagine this is a big budget saving thing. And it does kind of add to that abstract quality where you have to just look at it as the story and you can't really nitpick at, 
at all. You can't really focus on any one thing. Just focus on kind of the story they're trying to tell because they're trying to tell it on zero dollars. What else? The, the costumes, um, especially the robot, were, were pretty cheap. Um, however, I did like all their patches. I thought their patches were pretty nice. In addition, their CGI is also subpar, but again, if you can't afford anything, like this is fine. Uh, their worms kind of look like vulture heads with like this little beak um, that I always thought were funny. You know, with all of these uh, kind of low budget stuff, that's where I get my enjoyment. Just with this one, it was just very noticeable that the budget was lacking. So I don't want to take away from it, but that's definitely going to kind of hamper the like a majority of people's experience with this movie. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, I think if you're into abstract movies, you might want to give this one a chance. If you're not that person, then definitely stay away. As for a rating, I'm going to give it two scores this time. I'm going to give it a 2.3 because it's a huge risk if you decide to press play. And then I'm going to give it a 5 on the weird scale. So if you like really weird things, yeah, maybe consider that. And having said that, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with a post credit scene this time. I just wanted to do a quick shout out because I only watched this film because one of our subscribers left a comment about it. And I think that uh, subscriber was Dark Equalizer. So shout out to that person and I will see you next time.